NextGen is a waste industry leader, providing reliable product and process solutions to customers in the global recycling, waste, and material handling markets. NextGen offers a host of recycling and scrap processing equipment to customers around the world, including horizontal and vertical balers, conveyors, and other equipment specifically designed for the emerging trend toward material recovery facilities. A material recovery facility, or MRF as it's sometimes called, is a location where recyclable materials are collected, sorted, and baled for transport to consuming mills. MRFs can process many types of recyclables, such as office paper, telephone books, newspapers, corrugated cardboard, steel, plastics, and aluminum. Industry experts estimate that MRFs process more than 23 million tons of recyclables per year in the United States alone. That equates to an average of 153 tons per day, an estimated 10% of all the solid waste produced in this country annually. With single-stream curbside collection programs on the rise and residential recycling efforts expanding throughout the world, municipalities and waste management companies big and small are seeking new ways to collect and process recyclables more quickly and cost-effectively. One way in which NextGen is meeting the needs of these customers is in the area of automation. More than 50% of the MRFs in operation today have switched from manual to automated sorting systems, and NextGen's products are leading the way in productivity and throughput. One such example is the city of Conway, Arkansas, who recently decided to automate their MRF with NextGen equipment. The NextGen system allows us to increase our productivity within the city of Conway, where we used to could only bail perhaps maybe 25 bales a week. We can do that now within four hours where we used to exhaust employees by hand sorting. We now are able to keep fresh employees on the line and the morale is a lot better because the automated line does such a proficient job. By purchasing the next gen automated sorting line, we are able to increase our productivity. We didn't buy it with the intentions of it being a profitable business for the city of Conway. We simply offer this service to our residents because we also have a landfill. So we want to encourage our residents to recycle. To open a sale is about a million dollars a piece, so what opening two sales to put trash in is about the same as what the system cost me. So overall it will be a financial gain for the city of Conway. From conveyors and sorting platforms to magnetic separators and eddy currents to optical sorters and balers, NextGen has the industry expertise and advanced technology to implement MRF solutions for any size facility. Our engineers will help you design the proper process flow and will be on site throughout the installation and startup phases to ensure you achieve the desired results. Here's a quick look at how recyclables are processed at the MRF operated by the City of Conway, Arkansas. Residential and commercial recyclables are collected curbside and delivered to the MRF where they're deposited onto the tipping floor and loaded onto the pit feed conveyor. The conveyor passes through a bag breaker device which breaks apart closed plastic bags of material. Next, the material passes through a manual negative sorting station where plastic bags along with any non-recyclable items are removed. From there, the conveyor moves the material over an OCC screen which removes the cardboard items, transfers them onto a separate conveyor belt and deposits them into a collection bin for bailing. Then, the material passes across a fiber screen, which directs the paper-based materials away from the plastic, aluminum, and ferrous items. The paper materials are conveyed to a manual sorting area, where office paper, newsprint, and miscellaneous paper are separated into collection bins for bailing. Next, a conveyor transfers the remaining materials beneath a cross-belt magnet, which removes the ferrous materials, such as soup and vegetable cans, depositing them into a collection bin to await bailing. With the ferrous items removed, the remaining materials then pass through an eddy current, which sorts out the aluminum items, such as soda cans. The cans are directed onto a separate conveyor and deposited into a collection bin. From there, the remaining plastic items travel through a perforator, where they're punctured and compressed, then through a computerized optical sorter, which identifies each item by plastic grade. Finally, an air classifier uses a blast of air to move each plastic item to its appropriate collection bin. Any items that are not recyclable are transferred to a compactor for disposal. Once a collection bin is filled to capacity, the contents of the bin are moved onto the final baler infeed conveyor, which transfers the material to a two-ram horizontal baler. The compaction ram within the baler compresses the material to a high-density block, which is automatically tied with high tensile wire as it's ejected from the baling chamber. From there, a forklift operator moves the bale to the appropriate holding area, where it will await transfer to its final destination. 
With a successfully designed MRF like the one operated by the city of Conway, municipalities and waste management companies around the globe can better serve customer needs and, in many cases, enable the recycling program to rapidly pay for itself. Want to learn more about adding NextGen equipment to your operation? Simply visit www.nextgenbailers.com for more information. I would select NextGen as my provider mainly because of the quality of service that you get by working with NextGen. Their people are here with you from the very beginning to the very end. The training is excellent. They not only will train the people such as the directors like myself, but they will train your employees, they will train your managers, and they don't leave until you are satisfied. When it comes to providing recycling and scrap processing equipment that increases efficiency and maximizes throughput, rely on NextGen.